What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, Okay, Dr. Tour. And in today's video, baby, yes, I am giving you the tutorial on how to achieve this look, how to get these voluminous bomb curls and all that good stuff. So stay tuned. you guys so this wig is from asteria hair i'm not even going to lie to you like no cap i really slept on this company so bad like i was really sleeping on them y'all first of all they sent me a hd lace um wig it was only 24 inches y'all saw how far it came down on me it's only 180 percent density okay y'all saw how full it was right okay enough said so this is what it looked like throughout the package baby when i say this wig was thick it was so thick and full to all the way to the ends like this wig was so freaking bomb like this wig is so bomb so as you can see we got some clips inside two on the side two on each side the um lace is definitely given hd it's a full 13 by 4 and the knots bleached easily like i had no problems with the knots i had no problems with plucking none of that so unless you guys are new here you guys already know what's going on right now i'm just doing the install very basic um ball cap method i'm just using the got to be spray spraying that on there rubbing it in and then i'm going to go ahead and blow dry that first layer and then i'm gonna do another layer of the same exact thing all right so nothing special here now I'm just using my eyebrow comb, um, sorry, my eyebrow razor, and I'm just cutting off that excess cap. Um, if you guys aren't new here, like I said, then you know, nothing special here either. Regular, regular, whatever. Um, after this, I'm going to go ahead and put my makeup on my cap, and then we're going to get into the install. Okay, so for glue, I am back to using my ghost bond. So I'm only doing two layers. I don't leave my wigs on for that long, usually, because I'm always doing these type of reviews and stuff, so... Um, yeah, I only do two layers of the ghost bond and then I put my wig on. So that's what I'm doing right here. After that first, like you guys can see, like the first layer is like almost dry already. So after this, I'm going to do my second layer and then, um, that's it. All right, so as you guys can see, that glue is nice and clear, and now it is time to apply this wig. <laughs> you guys, y'all just don't even understand. Look how full this wig is. Like, when I curled it, even when I just put it on regular, like, even with it being straight, it felt like um, when you add tracks to a wig and you got that big, like, you know, like, that girl. Like, it was giving very much so that girl. No tracks added at all. Like, it came looking like this like it came this thick it came this melted like look at look at the frontal already nothing even happened yet like look at the frontal already are you kidding me so yeah i'm just taking that same little eyebrow razor and i'm just going around my um hairline and cutting off that lace and as you guys can see it lifted up on me a little bit on the side so um, I just gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and just put some ghost bond on that little part and, and you know just tack that down but I'm also going to cut off the little ear tabs because you know you don't want your frontal hanging over your ears that looks weird ill so yeah so that's what I'm doing right here I'm just cutting those ear tabs be careful to do not snip your ear and then I'm gonna go ahead with my um, ghost bond and I'm just going to glue that little part down Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead with my makeup brush and I'm just going to go over that hairline, you know, just to add a little, you know, a little bit more of a melt to it. And then we're going to get into the styling. So with this, I'm going to do my regular baby hair routine. I'm just doing my two swoops on each side, literally like the same baby hairs that I always do. Um, I'm going uh, down a little bit further on um, my baby hairs now. I don't know. I've been seeing people do it on Instagram, and I like the look. So I'm going down a little bit further on those baby hairs. So I'm going to take my eyebrow razor, and I'm just going to cut that, and then I'm going to curl it. 
And when you bumping these baby hairs, I want y'all to really like bump it. Like really like bump them baby hairs because it's gonna make it so much easier when it's time to lay them bad boys. Like, so make sure that you're bumping them baby hairs, okay? Like make sure you bumping them. So I'm taking that got to be spray on my little edge brush and I'm just brushing them into place using my got to be spray. I'm not using no mousse or nothing like that. Um, literally just the got to be spray. I've been doing just got to be spray. It's working out great for me. So once I'm done with that, um, I'm going to wrap them up with my satin scarf and I'm going to let them sit. Look at the baby hairs though. Like look at the baby hairs. Like look at them. Like they look good. They look good because I bumped them. All right, so I'm wrapping it up, and then we're going to come back and get the styling. All right, so with this, I'm doing a middle part bombshell curls. Like, this about to be giving. So anytime you want your curls to be absolutely, like, popping, like, amazing curls, you're going to need to put some layers in there because otherwise it's just going to be flat. Like, so whenever you want to get some bomb-ass curls, you need to make sure that you're cutting some layers. I Like, I'm not a hairstylist. <laughs> like, I'm not even... Like, I literally just learned how to do hair myself. Like, I taught myself. I'm very much so self-taught. Never been to cosmetology school, so I don't have a manual on how to give layers. I just, like, shape them to, shape them to my face, really. I just know, like, I don't know. Like, I always, the front part, the shortest part of my layers, I always do, like, a little bit below my jawline. That's the best that I can do for a description for you guys. Like, and I'm using that same little eyebrow razor to do my layers like i'm not even using no scissors I'm not using shears i'm not doing none of that because i like the like not raggedy but i like the like grunginess when i don't use shears like i like it to be it gives like more of a teased look when you use a razor comb in my opinion so i always do that because i feel like it makes the layers look thicker makes the hair look bigger so i always use a razor comb of some sort even if it's not that little edge brush like I'll use the bigger um razor comb so now it is time to get the curling I am using my con air u curler it's a little red um little curling wand that I got literally in like the ninth or tenth grade that I've had literally ever since it's been with me for over 10 years okay so and it was only like 25 bucks but this is the curling iron like this you curler is really that girl. Don't mind the makeup on my wall. I let my nieces and stuff have girls nights at my house and they always just ruin my things. So I'm getting my walls repainted soon. So don't pay that no mind, okay? Um, so I'm just doing these curls away from my face. I'm just doing them away from my face and I'm curling them um not really, really tight, but I'm, you know, I wanted to hold the curl. So this hair is curling so nicely. Um, when I do these wand curls, I pretty much just like pull them at the end and let them separate. So you guys are going to see what I'm talking about. I literally just like pull them and separate them. I don't comb through them with my hands. or Well, I don't comb through them with a comb at all. I only just do my hands. And that's what's going to give you, you know, that bouncy look that you saw in the beginning. Um, so, yeah, just pay attention, you guys. Um, it's pretty easy, though. Like, see, I'm just pulling them at the end, and it's just separating a little bit. So I do that, and then um, I use spritz. The spritz that I use is by Fantasia, and it's liquid mousse. Firm hold spritz spray. Um, I have the little travel size one. It was only a dollar ninety nine. So yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish curling my hair. I'm not gonna talk your guys' ear off. And yeah. So I'm not gonna show me curling the other side because you know that's just boring. But um, I'm doing the same exact thing on the other side, just the opposite way. So I'm just curling away from my face just on the other side and that's just literally it like it's so 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 simple um so you guys are going to see what i'm doing like when i'm done so i'm literally just pulling those curls apart like just touching them and then i'm rubbing my hands through them running my hands through it and look how pretty a very pretty curl all right, so now that I'm done, I'm just doing the same exact thing on the other side, just pulling those curls apart, running my fingers through them, touching it up with my hot comb on the top, you know, to get the top to lay really flat. I'm going to um, put some, what is that, chi um, silk on my hands. I'm going to spray that with some spritz, and then here is the final look. Ah, like, they're just so good. 
y'all this wig is the bomb like this wig is so banging oh my goodness like i love it i posted little videos stuff on social media they went crazy like they went so crazy everybody loves this wig i love this wig and yeah it's just it is what it is and what i really love is doing the middle part with the flip over like it's the flip over for me like it looks so good like it just looks so so good this wig was so full for a 180 density and it was so long for a 24 inch do you hear me clap my hands when i'm talking like that's how you know that this is the one <laughs> like that's how you know so yeah if you guys can't tell i'm like really 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 obsessed with this wig so make sure you guys go check out asteria hair i'm gonna leave all the information for this wig in the description box um and honestly it's really just giving two words it's giving volume and density it's giving length and uh, thickness like it's just it's just giving like it's giving and when i say length this is what i mean when i say length like this is only 24 inches look at how full it is like look at how full it is all right, well, that's about it for this video, you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at k.couture. Same name as here on YouTube. And definitely, definitely, definitely check out Asteria Hair. Thanks for watching, you guys. Until next time, stay positive and be blessed.